Well, howdy there, Internet people. This is Michael at 3D Print Everything, and today we are going to talk about resin prints being a ticking time bomb for you and your clients. A ticking, toxic time bomb. Something that you could seriously hurt and injure someone with if you're not careful and you don't understand what you're doing. So some people on here, you might be new to resin printing, maybe you've bought a resin printer. Just as my quick rundown, there are safe resins out there that won't kill you but there are many resins out there that are cancerous toxic and even light handling of them from my understanding and what I've read on articles can definitely on, on case studies and people getting toxic uh, you know killed from this um, it, it 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 can hurt you so you have to be extremely care with 3d printer with resin 3d printers so when, when someone comes in and is ready to buy a $200 you know King Rune and they see some other resin printer for like $300 on Amazon they don't realize they also need a light box and a washing station and gloves and that's generally where it stops but you know a real company with certifications and everything it doesn't stop at just a pair of gloves it's a respirator it's a face mask it's a splash guard it's an apron you don't want this on your clothes you don't want it on your skin anywhere you don't, you don't want to be next to a resin 3d printer and have any bit of skin exposed because if a drop just accidentally splashes on you it's there and it can potentially get through your skin into your cell membranes and cause cancer i personally have had an experience to where I, I hired a local company to, to do a resin print, and I get over to this company. It's a multi-million dollar company, big company, lots of machines everywhere, and I get led back to this, this offshoot of an office into a closet where this random guy was handling all the parts that I had asked him to print barehanded. And I was quite shocked and was like, oh, you must be using the non-toxic chemicals. And he's like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I go to warn him, those are very toxic and you're not wearing gloves. Well, I can't, you know, handle your part without um, gloves on. And his fingers were swollen and bleeding from the nails. Every single one of his fingers on both hands, bleeding and swollen. And I'm like, guy, that is from the resin. You need to be going to the hospital. No, 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 it's fine. I'm cool. Here's your parts. You know, and he goes to hand me these wet parts. I'm like, these are not even clean. Like, you put them, like, I ended up having him put them in a bag, and I threw them all away because he didn't properly cure them. He didn't properly wash them, and he was handling it. He, you know, he would have poisoned me. And, like, that's my point is if you don't know what you're doing, you could poison someone. And more concerningly is what I'm going to address here further is a print like this. So we're printing this stadium, right? And what's happening here is inside here is a void. And I can also show you on Cura. Um, there is a void inside the stadium. So, you know, on the outside, it looks like a stadium. It looks like stairs and everything. But when you go down in height, the void starts right there and is under the stairs. So what will happen with resin printing is, especially if it's solid, it looks like it's not even... I mean, on, at least in this print, there's gaps here, so the resin would kind of leak out. But let's say with the resin printer, it prints that. And maybe it's only, you know... 0.2 of a millimeter thick. I'm using a 0.6 nozzle, so the 0.6 nozzle is not picking up the detail. But let's say it prints this wall right here, and then you know you have all this trapped, uncured resin, and someone doesn't know any better, and they sell someone a part, a Funko Pop, a, a child, a toy. You know, you give a child a Funko Pop toy printed in resin, and it's beautiful, and there was some hole on the inside of it, and then two months down the line, that kid's playing with it, and it cracks. He doesn't have to break it open it will eventually break the surface and then this glue slimy stuff gets out if that gets in their eyes the resin toxic sla resin you just put it in your eyes you go blind you eat it you, you, you're acute poisoning the guy that i met with his bleeding fingers acute poisoning that guy most likely died i never heard from him again i emailed him a couple times i emailed the company to warn them that what you know they did to this guy was terrible and they need to pay his hospital bills and send him to the hospital immediately he sent me a response no not that big a deal but, you know, to me, this is, and I mean, we're, we're playing with our life here if, if you're doing resin printing wrong and, you, you know, way more than any, any other concerns I have in a company is handing someone a, essentially a toxic grenade. Um, you definitely don't want to do this. I mean, and this, and this project is for a corporation, you know, high end people would have this. I mean, this could get into a VP's hand and then he starts handling something and then he gets cancer and then it comes back and it's on the company that ordered the parts for me and on me, the company who made the parts. So this is something that's extremely important to make sure that when you're getting models and you're using modelers, that your models 
are solid or that you hollow them in appropriate ways. You know, in this case, um, we're going to hollow it and like drill some holes to let some of the pieces drain out of it if we have to. I mean, we're, we're going to figure out how to print this right or get it solid, but um, you absolutely, absolutely need to be careful with resin prints and understand what you're doing. I can't express it enough. It is not something that you want to be operating, you know, carelessly. Um, you don't want to be handling the resin. Um, just do your own research. Look up resin printing. There's plenty of articles on it. I don't need to go through article and article. Um, you know, you can take my word for it or you cannot believe me, but there's plenty of evidence out there. And while I'm addressing the toxins of, of 3D printing, and I'll do a specific video on this, FDMs aren't perfect either. These little printers here, they can cause health issues too. So stay out for the next video. I'll, I'll cover that next. But um, it's a whole lot less concerning than the resin printers. And that's why I operate them and feel, you know, at least feel mostly safe. But, um, but there is something to be talked about nonetheless. So, guys, if you got a resin printer or you're doing resin printing, I really, really hope you're venting it well. I hope you're wearing respirators. I hope you have, you know, clean surfaces. You're not getting this on carpet. You don't spilling it all over your, your tables and stuff. I've seen house setups where people just trash a room because they end up spilling and being clumsy with this resin and it gets everywhere. And, you know, that's just, a, you know, a three-year down the line cancer thing waiting to happen. Like, please, please, please take care. That, I'm going to end the video on that one. Have a good day, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let people know that you know about the resin printing and whatnot. It's definitely the best and most high-quality, safest. Not safest. Like, like, once it's cured and everything, it's awesome. And you can't beat the quality, and that's why we have it, and it's so worth it. That's why we're going to print this in resin. But um, it's very, very important to be safe about it. Have a good day, guys.